this next session, we are talking to one half of the podcast uh, host here, Free For All Fridays. And this guy is amazing. He's going to bring the energy. He's going to bring the knowledge. So today we're going to talk to Jimmy Nelson about mastering success, the smart 90-day real estate challenge. Let's toss it over to Jimmy. Alyssa, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And man, catching that that segment there with Haley and, and talking about rest at the end of that, that's what I really want to hit with this today, this next 90 days. And, you know, ramping up for the fourth quarter and getting ready for 2024 is really what's going to set your business apart. And rest is important, but there's one way you can kind of take advantage of all that, and that's by, by scheduling yourself out, right? Who got into this business for the freedom of it, right? But we're actually working more now probably than we ever have before. So, I've got 30 minutes to get with you guys. I'm going to share a QR code with you too as well. This is going to have that to go ahead and download this, this 90 day business plan. And one thing we want to talk about. So let's just get right into it here and talk about what we're going to talk about. So smart goals are very important. And I know most of you have probably heard about smart goals and what they are, but they're specific, they're measurable, they're attainable, they're relevant and they're timed. Okay, so some super important things, some super important things that'll help us to gain momentum into this fourth quarter, which will launch you into 2024. So I'm super excited to get into this today, and we're going to actually talk about money today and actually talk about what this will look like for you and what it can do to your business over the next 90 days. But first of all, we're going to talk about these SMART goals, okay? Now inside of this plan, and I want you all, you're all going to have some homework to do when we talk about this. So very specific goals, right? When we're talking about planning and goal, goals, what specific goal is it, right? I don't want us to say, I want to make more money. Because if your goal is just to make more money, what does that mean? What does it do? What is it actually going to do? How are we going to like specific, very get very in tune with specifically, I want to make $80,000 next year. I want to make $100,000 next year. I want to make 110000 Whatever that number is, get very specific with that number, okay? Or if it's just, I want a certain amount of closings. I want 15 closings next year. I want 24 closings next year. Whatever that number is, but get very specific with that number, okay, guys? Then measure it. How are we going to measure it? Now remember, you can't boil the ocean. You can boil it a little piece at a time. So when we talk about measuring, we're going to talk about how we measure things on a daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly time. So we know that we're measuring everything. And I know on a daily basis where I'm going to be at with my goals. So we're going to get into that too. Now, is it attainable? Okay. One of the biggest things we talk about in real estate, guys, is the fallout in this business. 87% of agents are out of real estate in the first year. Crazy stat, I know, right? But think about this. If I set in a goal and I say, I want to make $2 million next year, and I only make 1.5, do I fail? Is that a fail? Well, no, it's more money than I've ever made before, but I didn't reach my goal. So when we talk about goals, we want to make sure they're attainable because when we stop reaching them, that's when we start to feel like a failure. Okay. We had a very good conversation with an agent down in Florida. Uh, she was a grandma. She was making about 70 to $80,000 a year in love and life. But people kept telling her, well, you should make more money. You should make more money. She started feeling like a failure, but she was living happy, guys. She had her time back. She was spending time with her grandkids. She was still doing real estate and she was doing fine. So we just had to explain to her, just accept where you're at. Be comfortable with your goals. Be comfortable with what you're doing. If you're happy in your life and you're doing and what you're doing, stay there, okay? Now, it's relevant, right? They got to be relevant. Your goals have to be relevant for what they specifics are, okay? And then time-based, all right? Specifically, we're going to look at this. This goal, this sheet that I have for you guys today that you can all download is going to be for 90 days. So it's timed, right? And we're going to look at what it looks like on a daily basis, okay? Now, here's our overall plan, okay? I'm going to make this a little bit bigger for you guys out there on, on TV land here. So very specific goals. Over the next 90 days, what are you going to be committed to, okay? Is it scheduling? Is it living by my calendar? Is that, am I getting up by 6 a.m.? Get very, again, specific with these. Am I dialing for three hours per day, right? The top areas I need to focus on. These are examples, again, for you. Is it lead gen? Is it setting appointments? Is it showing houses? Is it marketing? Is it open houses? 
right? What is it, okay? And then this example right here is not an example. This is what challenges are gonna get in my way. You, you're the only one that's gonna get in your way, okay? You're the only one that's gonna get in your way. We lie to ourselves more than we lie to anybody else. We're all liars. I'm a liar, everybody watching's a liar. We lie to ourselves all the time. We find it easy to lie to ourselves. So the challenges that are gonna get in the way are gonna be me, okay? Now, I wanna show you this example right here. If I say over the next 90 days, I want nine closings, okay? I want nine closings in 90 days. Okay, stick with me. That means you would earn $43,200. Guys, some of you are probably looking at that number right now going, I don't know, that number doesn't make sense. What I base this off of, okay? What I base this very number specifically off of was a $200,000 house, okay? Some of you are probably like, who sells a $200,000 house? You're on the West Coast. Everything's more expensive. It's great, okay? But I wanted to go low because I wanted you to see how this can affect you, okay? So $200,000, this is what this is based off of, of my money earned. Plus your EXP, so everybody's at an 80-20 split. That's what give you this, okay? So stick with me now. That means I want three new listings. I'm going to have to get 66 appointments. I'm going to have to make 1,980 contacts. I'm going to spend 198 hours prospecting, and I'm going to spend 66 days prospecting. Now, some of you are looking at this saying right now, oh my gosh, there's no way, there's no way I could get 1,980 contacts. How could I ever do that? Or I have to spend 198 hours prospecting. How am I going to do that? Let's show you real quick. And I told you I was going to break this down for you on a daily basis. Those numbers right there leading you to nine closed transactions and $43,000 in 90 days. This is what you'd have to do on a daily basis. Prospect three hours. So guaranteed three hours per day. Where get, you're just prospecting for three hours. Okay. Now your prospecting can be dialing. It can be door knocking. It can be networking. It can be open houses. It can be whatever. However you want to prospect it can be but you have to dedicate three hours a day to it, okay? Three hours a day. You're gonna need to get 30 contacts a day. Now remember, a contact is somebody that says hello. That's it, they said hello, you had a brief conversation with them, they told you never to call them again. Perfect, that's a contact. I need three conversations. Three conversations are somebody that has a follow-up, it's somebody I'm going to nurture. It's somebody that said hello and I talked to for more than two minutes. I need three of those a day. I need three conversations a day. I need one appointment a day. And based on these numbers up here, we said we wanted three new listings in the next three months. So that means on a daily basis, you need zero listings taken. Okay? Now let's look at our week. That means I need to spend 15 hours a week prospecting I need 150 contacts a week, 15 conversations, five appointments. And again, I'm still at zero listings taken, okay? So on a monthly basis, 60 hours, 600 contacts, 60 conversations, 20 appointments, and one listing, okay? You do all that, guys, and you, get, you work for three hours a day, right? You prospect, and you just three hours a day. It's got to be outbound. No interruptions, no exclusions, no nothing. Three hours a day, okay? Three hours a day, just outbound, outbound time can lead you to these numbers, okay? Now, again, like I said, these are low. These numbers are based on a $200,000 sale, okay? Now, how are we going to do this? We're going to stick to a daily routine. And I've given you an example here of what your week should look like. And some of you are going to ask during this, if it's a 90-day plan, how are we saying that, why does the 66 number keep coming up? Because I'm looking at Monday through Friday as my prospecting time. I'm just ba based Monday through Friday, I'm prospecting five days a week. Saturdays and Sundays are open there for two things, showings, open houses, and family time. It's 
kind of what Haley was talking about in the segment before this, is I do need to spend some time with my family. I have a wife and kids too, so I want to spend time with them. How do I do that? How do I get time back in my day? I get time back in my day by scheduling everything out. And if you're not scheduling everything out, you're giving time away. Okay? We know that we've got 86,400 seconds every day. 86,400 seconds every day. Think about that. You've got those seconds put in your bank account every day. 86,400 seconds. So, I want to spend as much time as I can focused on my where my energy is going to go. 8 to 9, I'm doing a role play. Find somebody that will do a role play with you. If you don't have somebody, reach out to me. I'll help you find someone in your area. Or I have a couple ideas and a couple tricks I'll share at the end of this with you that will show you how you can get some, re the, some role play in. All right? Then, my 9 to 12, that's my dial time. Okay? That's my dial time or my door knocking time or my, that's just my prospecting time, right? Think about that. That's my prospecting time. I'm spending that time, three hours a day, nine to 12, I'm just diving into it. That's my prospecting time, I'm not going anywhere else, okay? Three hours a day. 12 to one is my lunch and my social media. I can kill two birds with one stone, I put a limit on my social media. It's very important, you have to do it, but you gotta put a limit on it. Otherwise, you're two hours into watching some videos and not paying attention and it's tricking your mind into thinking you're actually working and you're not. So. Put some time limits on to your social media time and do it during, you grab your sandwich, sit down, do your social media and get there. My one to two, that's my follow up time. Remember, I said my nine to 12 was my non-negotiable. That's my prospecting time, that's outbound. My clients know nine to 12, I'm not reachable. My wife knows nine to 12, I'm not reachable. That's my time, that's my prospecting time. So my one to two is when I'm following up, okay? I have follow-up baked in every single day. Because if I'm doing Saturday and Sunday open houses, showings, I need to follow up with my clients and I'm following up with them there, okay? Now, my two to three, two to three every day, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm doing just a little bit different every day. Monday, I'm hitting my sphere. And I'm hitting my sphere and I'm calling them having a quick conversation with them, or just texting them. How are things going? Hope everything's well. Remember your Ford scripts. How are things going? Great, awesome. My Tuesday is my top 50. Now some of you are asking, what's a top 50? We should all be building out a top 50 list. If you're new in the business, or you know haven't been keeping track of this, you may have a top five right now. And so this list is your VIPs. They're gonna refer you no matter what. They're gonna take care of you. This list, they get. They should be getting Christmas cards or holiday cards. They should be getting birthday cards. They should be getting, so this group, my top 50, I wanna to touch base with them. Hey, how are things going? I know Johnny and Susie are in soccer right now. Hope everything's going well. I just wanna to touch base with this top 50 just to stay top of mind with them, okay? Now, Wednesday, partners. You might wanna be asking what partners are. Partners are this. Anybody that does anything with houses, okay? My partners are uh, carpenters, electricians, plumbers, contractors. Um, also, I put in as far as partners go, I want to talk to uh, probate attorneys, divorce attorneys. Um, I want to meet with inspectors. I want to have all this laid out for partners because now I want to refer business to them and then I want them to refer business to me. So every Wednesday, I make calls to my partners or I go try to find new partners. I go meet them for coffee, I have a quick lunch, whatever it is, but I just take that one hour and I try to find partners or the partners that I do have that I'm going to refer out that I wanna make sure I'm touching base with them. Then, on Thursday, from two to three, social media building. What's social media building? I've already got social media time baked in here around lunchtime, well, here's what we're gonna do. That Thursday, I take that one hour on Thursday, and I build out five or six social media shareable things. You know, a bunch of different things, whether it's a closing or whether it's a market report or something like that, I build that out on Thursday, but I build out five, six, seven of them, okay? I do that because then when I go in here on this day, I have our, I've already built them. I don't have to take the time to build them. I just have to keep them in a file, 
pull them out, sort them, and drop them in here on those days. Okay? So, my Friday is my follow-up, my client checkups. My follow-up Friday. Any client that I have in process right now, anybody that I have that is either a buyer uh, or a listing right now, I tell them, Mr. and Mrs. Buyer, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, no matter what throughout this process, I will be giving you updates every Friday. I will call you no matter what every Friday. Now, Mr. Seller or Mrs. Seller, during the week, if we get offers sent in or if I need to update you with anything, I will. But trust me, I will give you an update every Friday no matter what. Guys, this is a pro tip for you. This will save you so much time. Be upfront with your clients. Tell them, I will give you a call no matter what. You can change a day if you want. Mine was just easy for me to remember because it was follow-up Friday. But no matter what, I will give you a call every Friday. So when Mr. and Mrs. Seller gives you a call on Tuesday, you can answer their question and say, hey, remember, just like we talked about, I will give you a call every Friday, no matter what. Now it's a double-edged sword. You can't miss giving them a call the day you said they're gonna, you're gonna do it. You have to give them a call that day. But it also stops them from calling you Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday looking for a follow-up. If you're giving them a follow-up and you're telling them and you're coaching them and you're training your clients on saying, I'm going to do this on this day, that's going to save you so much time in your day. Okay? Then, three to eight appointments and showings every day. Okay? Now, if I don't have appointments and showings, I have some family time back. But that's my three to eight. So three to eight is my time now, again, like I said, I have kids, so I start, I put in games and matches and, and practices and whatever else, things that I have to be to, I put those in here too, and I schedule those, because I want to know when those are, because I want to work around those things that are important to me. So to keep yourself from burning out, again, like Haley was talking about in the segment just before this, to keep yourself from burning out, schedule everything. Schedule everything. It will change everything you're doing right now, it will help you last longer in this business. It will keep you from burning out. It will keep you from having those moments of just frustration and, 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 and just being upset with everything that's going on because you feel overwhelmed. The more you schedule, the less overwhelmed you'll feel, right? You have to have hard outs on all these things, but that's going to be your daily routine. And sticking to that daily routine, guys, will help you in this 90-day business plan. Now, to continue on, what I got in this, in this, when you're going to get that, yep, there it is. There's the QR code. So there's a weekly prospecting worksheet. What things am I going to be doing weekly? What is happening on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the day of I'm going to dedicate the prospecting and the activities. So now here are some examples of prospecting activities. Calling, emailing, texting, social messaging, right? Role playing, handwritten notes. Guys, that's a big pro tip for you. If you're not doing handwritten notes to your clients or potential clients or anybody, and I'm gonna do it now, I'll, I'm gonna give you some insight right here. This is a big one. Dollar scratch offs. Send out $1 scratch offs to some of your clients, past clients, future clients, people you're prospecting, whatever. Send out a handwritten note with a $1 scratch off and watch their eyes light up when they get to scratch it off. It's amazing, guys. So handwritten notes, following up with your leads, super important. We hear it all the time. The fortune's in the follow-up, which it is. So following up with your leads, calling or texting your database, door knocking, FISBOs, uh, farming, um, annual real estate evaluations. If you don't know, what a, evaluations are great. Right, especially right now, the market's shifting, things are changing, things are moving. People want to know what the value of their home is. People want to know what's going on with that. So doing evaluations for them, networking events, webinars, um, right? live Facebook videos. Guys, when you do a live Facebook video, it's just like turning on a switch whoosh, and everybody's watching you now. Right. So again, don't forget about going live on Facebook. It's great stuff to do. All right, so that's your weekly prospecting sheet. So now... You've got some plans laid out, okay? There's three of these in this book. So what I want you to notice, this is month one, okay? There's month one, there's month two, and there's month three inside of this book. Now, what I'm gonna look at is how many days that I work, 
How many days did I prospect? Okay, those are one checked, right? How many contacts did I make? Well, I wanna make 10 today, nine. You can see how I fill this out, right? So that, that's gonna help me do that. Now my appointments, same thing. Did I get three appointments? What appointment? And this is listing or buyer appointments, either one, okay? How many listings did I take? How many closings did I have? Then at the bottom, you have this total sheet, okay? So total is totals, and this is gonna give your month, your add up. How many days did I work? How many days did I prospect, right? So that's your, gonna be your lead gen plan, and this is how you're gonna track everything. Remember what we said at the beginning. It's gotta be specific, measurable, right? So this is how you're going to measure. If you're not measuring, how do you know what's working and what's not working? Okay, and it goes, same thing goes back to our scheduling, right? If I, if I know what days I'm working on what, okay? If I know my dial time on Monday is spent with Fizbo's, okay, just an example, then I'm gonna be able to look back at my tracking sheet and say, okay, Mondays are working great. I'm great at this Fizbo thing, it's great. Or if it's expired, or if it's door knocking, whatever this is, whatever this time is, I then can look at my sheet and say, well, I know what days that I did what on, what's working for me. And then I can dive more into the stuff that's working and not do the stuff that's not working. But until you're actually measuring it, guys, it doesn't matter, okay? Think about this, when you go to the doctor, what does the doctor say? If I go into the doctor and say I hurt my finger, he doesn't just give me medicine or she doesn't just give me medicine for it. They start asking me questions. Well, does it hurt when you do this? Does it hurt when you extend it? Does it hurt when you're sleeping? Does it hurt when your hands up? Does it hurt when your hands down? Right? They're measuring everything. That's what we're doing here. We're going to measure everything in your business. And when you start measuring everything in your business, you'll know where to take your business to and you'll know where to grow it and you'll know what you're comfortable with and you'll start to know and then think of how much easier life gets right because now we know exactly what we're tracking okay now at the end i'm going to set goals for myself okay if i say i wanted to have nine closed transactions okay then at the end i can say what i actually did and then did i achieve it yes or no okay why or why not? What was my biggest challenge or success? And what do I need to change to endure it? Or what are my biggest learnings from the past 90 days? Now, again, guys, this is super important. What I want to emphasize for this whole thing is these are your goals. These are goals that you're trying to achieve. No one else can do them for you. No one else can tell you what your goals should be or shouldn't be. Your goals have to make you happy. And what I want to talk about, going right back to the beginning here, is when we talk about the SMART goals and being specific, right? A specific goal is linked to a job description, goals, missions, and our overall, right? So overall, what is it important for you? And is it measurable, attainable, and relevant? And the relevancy, guys, is if I say I want to make X amount of dollars, Okay, why, why, what will that do for me? What will it change for me? Am I going after something very specific? Like, am I saving for a vacation for me and my family? Am I saving for a new car? Am I saving for a house? Am I looking to buy an investment property? So I'm getting very specific with what I'm trying to do with my goals. Because a goal without a dream or a goal without a, 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 a destination, guys, is just a wish, right? A goal without a plan is just a wish. So if you're just wishing for it, it's never going to happen. But if you have a goal that you want to buy an investment property, or you need a new car, or you want to go on vacation with your family, or if you want to, whatever your goals are, you have to start setting very specific goals and uh, measuring them, attaining them, making sure they're relevant and that they're timed. Because if not, they're just going to be out there, guys, and they're just wishes. So what I don't want you to do is keep wishing like I had more time back in my day. I just gave you more time back in your day. And I gave you more time back in your day by just scheduling more stuff. So sticking to your schedule, making sure that everything you're doing is relevant, 
making sure that you are staying on top of your game as far as your schedule goes and very specifically what you're going after, right? If you're very specifically going after certain things, and I want you all to take the time to fill this out, okay? Fill this out for yourself, and then let me know how it's working, okay? I want you to let me know how it's working. So I went very quickly through this. If you have any questions, you can get me at jimmynelsonrealestate at gmail.com. There's the access to the 90-day plan there. And if you have questions, if you need me to sit through this with you and go a little bit deeper, I have I, I will certainly do that for you. That's what I'm here for. It's what I do with all of our agents out there on the floor. It's what I've done with the teams that I've led. It's what I do. So again, scheduling more time in your day, being, being so diligent with your time and your efforts that you are just going to lock everything up and get more time back in your day.